What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up some really cool custom menu links uh, inside of Go High Level. This is great uh, if you're you're working on a SaaS product like I am, or uh, you know if you have something specific like customized to what you provide your customers and, and your clients. Um, you can give them very easy access to resources, different training options, support, things like that um, by simply adding these custom menu links on the sidebar here. Uh, so it's one of my favorite features of Go High Level. It's really, really cool. So make sure you stick to the end because uh, first I'm going to show you guys the custom menu links that I've created so far that I'm adding to my SaaS product, just to give you a little bit of inspiration, some ideas, some things that you can maybe add to yours. Uh, but then I'm also going to show you uh, exactly how to create these. It's very, very easy, uh, but super powerful. It's a, a really cool thing to add to your uh, to your product. So make sure you stick to the end. Uh, my only ask, guys, is if you find the video helpful, please give it a like. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell uh, so you know when I come out with new videos because I'm actually going to be coming out with a couple of more specific to custom menu links, like providing, uh, like creating live chat and things like that, uh, that you can put into uh, your SaaS product and all that. So make sure you stick to, uh, stay tuned. All right, let's uh, let's rock and roll. Um, the first thing I want to do is show you guys the custom menu links that I have right now. So you see that you, uh, uh, this. So this is actually inside of my uh, the SaaS product snapshot that I have right now. And you can see it has the standard traditional go high level uh, tabs uh, here on the on the sidebar. But if we scroll down, you can see these four customized ones right here. Training, feature requests, support and coaching. So this training one, I, it, this is just so cool. So instead of sending people to a separate website or login page or whatever, um, outside of the, the software, I can keep them right inside of my software, which is obviously really good. We want people staying and, and using our software as much as possible. Right. So. Uh, they can actually log in right here inside of the platform and get access to all of the training and resources that I provide for my SaaS products. They have an entire library of training on not just how to use my SaaS product, but also uh, like lead generation uh, strategies. I, I offer monthly social media posts and things like that. And actually, I might just uh, create a separate uh, custom menu link for that. I think that would be really cool. But anyways, they can get access to my course right in and uh, all the training for the software right inside of the platform where they log in. It's just awesome, right? So I think that's really cool. Feature requests, I got, you know, I was inspired by Go High Level for this one, where, uh, because with Go High Level, you can submit ideas on things that, you know, maybe you're struggling with that you'd like to see added to the software or whatever it is, right? Just something cool you think that might help people, whatever. So I've added a feature request to my SaaS product here where they can just simply fill out this form uh, let us know what it is that they're uh, looking to add or their idea, or whatever. They click submit and we get notified of that idea. That's it. Right. So a uh, really cool way to get feedback from your, your clients, customers, and also make them feel like they're part of the development of the software. I think that's a that's a really powerful way to build a community and support. So I love this. Uh, you you want to make it as easy as possible for people to get support, guys. So uh, right here, they just click on here, uh, on support. They can create a new support ticket. I'm also offering live chat. Um, this is done through Freshdesk. Again, um, check out the links in the description. I'm going to have uh, probably do a separate video at some point on offering live chat and support and, uh, and things like that. So uh, using Freshdesk, I really like Freshdesk so far. So it's really cool. Uh, let's see. So yeah, support. Uh, live chat, I'm going to be adding to my knowledge base and things like that, but really awesome. And then coaching. All right. Um, so this is just my main website right now. I'm actually going to be changing this and um, I'm going to be putting a very specific uh, sales page or info page. Uh, th this for, for you, this could be an appointment calendar for your done for you services. Maybe you don't offer coaching, but you have that uh, hybrid SaaS agency model where you have your SaaS product and your done for you services. So this is a great way to, uh, to just kind of like indirectly sell your, your SaaS customers on your done for you products uh, or services uh, or coaching, whatever it is, because they can just click this button and you link to that, that page and boom, it's right here. I mean, they get, you can, you can literally browse my entire website from right inside the platform. It's so cool. You don't, you don't even have to go to my actual website. It's right inside the platform when you log into my SaaS product. <laughs> that's, that's freaking cool. All right. So let me show you how to actually create this. This is super easy guys. So we're going to switch over to agency view here. All right. And we are going to scroll down, click on settings right here, where it says custom menu link. All right. 
Um, you can see these URLs right here. That's all you're doing, guys. When you create the your, your custom menu link here, you're going to select an icon, whatever you want. The icons are what appear on the, the left of the title of the, uh, of the menu items over here. All right, so pick whatever you want. All right, you're going to give it a name. Let's just do test for now. And then you're going to link this to, uh, I'm just going to type in Google. All right, you're going to get the URL for whatever it is you want people to have very easy access to, okay? Uh, and I'll, sh I'll, give you, I'll show you how, how I did that with all of mine here in a second, but let's, let's finish this up. Uh, you can show the link on the agency sidebar. So, you know, if you don't want, maybe you're making changes later on or something like that to, uh, to your custom menu links and you just wanna, you know, very easily without having to go to clients accounts or anything like that, you wanna see those updates live. That's really the, the main reason I would see for that. But if you wanna see your custom links, uh, uh, menu links in your agency sidebar. That's what that is. Show link on account sidebar. Obviously, you want to have that. Otherwise, what's the point? Um, it's not. Uh, yeah, uh, like like this is th this is what allows your clients and customers to actually see these custom menu links. All right, and then you can choose to show to all accounts or select specific accounts if you want. You can open this in a new tab, but I think the really cool part of this is the uh, the iframe inside the platform. This is what allows uh, like when people click on your custom menu link. It shows inside of the platform. It doesn't take them to a separate website. Okay, and then you just click save, and you're good to go. All right, now these uh, these URLs. So for my training one, I just use the login page for the uh, like all of my courses that I've created inside of Go High Level uh, and mem like memberships. Uh, I, I have one login page for that, and that's what this is. All right, so they're going to see that login page when they click training. And then they're going to get access. To, um, they'll, they'll see all of the, the memberships that they have access to right in there. Uh, feature request. Um, every form that you create inside of Go High Level Guys has a, a, a URL. I'll show you where that's at really quick. Um, so if we go to marketing and then click on form builder here. All right. We go into one of my one of these forms here and just click integrate form. You can click on link, copy that link. And then you would just paste it into your uh, like the URL portion uh, right here. That's it. And that's uh, that's what made the form pop up on that feature request custom menu link that I showed you. Uh, support. Uh, so again, I'm using Freshdesk. Probably going to do a separate video on this uh, later on. So make sure you check out the links in the description. Uh, but um, like like right here, uh, like I've got my portals right here, my customer support portals. And if I just click on view portal, um, I just copy that link, paste it in. And that's what allows the, like, like that page opens up inside of the platform, inside of my SaaS product. Uh, it's really cool. And then coaching, you just put the URL, uh, like of course my funnels and everything are built inside of Go High Level. You just take that URL uh, of your sales page, your appointment calendar, whatever it is, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you create custom menu links. Hopefully that uh, gives you a couple of ideas, uh, some things that you can maybe add to your SaaS product or your agency. It's really cool. Uh, I, I absolutely love this feature of Go High Level. So again, guys, if you find the video helpful, please give it a like. Uh, go through my affiliate link in the description for Go High Level if you do not have it. It's a two-week free trial. Really does help support the channel. Very much appreciated. Uh, join the Facebook group. Make sure you're subscribed, all that good stuff, right? Hope you guys are crushing it. Talk to you in the next one. Peace.